Kuyegwa meme zabantu bonke mandulo Kumeme zabantu abatala ganga Kwe bantu ala ansala lele nga Kumbi kowo kufika wento zengulu Nanzo wenkanyes Enchena soso wange mama Ewa kelo iziswa Sifele sweni lo Baba, Baba Wan, Baba Uza, Itu Uza, Meshula Ko, Simeme Zena Sweli Uza, Situ Uza, Fingile, Ingosi Yama Kosi, Ike Naso So Uza, Asila Dele, Kona Sviso Pumele, Good. Well done, station officer. You handled it very well. Oh, thanks, sir. Certainly felt realistic enough. <laughs> Come on, you loved it. Well, what do you think? We bought two of them. Yeah, I suppose so. If it helps driver training. I know a few would benefit. You're telling me. I was in holiday in Greece last year, and they all drove like you. <laughs> really? That's very interesting, since I'm not Greek. All right. I thought, I thought you were. Well, who's having a go next? Alan? Yeah, And right. perhaps, Mr. Bastow, you'd like to see what it's like for the passengers on this one. Remind you of your holiday. All right, sir. Good idea. Tell us about the gun, Ralph. Did you supply it? Why are you smirking, Ralph? Is that an admission? No. So you didn't supply the gun? Nope. So if it wasn't you, Ralph, who was it? Was it McCarthy? Certainly wasn't Dave Roberts, not his style at all. <laughs> Streaky Dave. He was there to make the numbers up. So if it wasn't you, and it wasn't Streaky Dave, then that leaves us with either McCarthy or Ronald Day, doesn't it? I don't know. Does it? Well, it does if you're not lying to us. We all know about McCarthy. He could have got them easily enough, couldn't he? Couldn't anyone. How long have you known Ronald Day? Who? Ronald Day. The fourth man, Ralph, the fourth man. I don't know. We didn't know very much about him, you know. But his files reveal him to be a violent criminal. Now, he definitely could have supplied the gun. Did he supply the gun? I don't know. Ask him. There's that smirk again, Ralph. That's the second time you've smirked. The first time you smirked was when I asked if you had supplied the gun. And now you've just done it again. You smirk when you lie, don't you? No. I don't smirk when I lie. I smirk when you ask me stupid bloody questions. Oh, but that's not so, is it, Ralph? Because when I asked about Streaky Dave, you laughed. And when we asked about McCarthy, well, there really wasn't much response at all, was there? But when I asked about you or they, you smirked. Do you smirk when the questions get a little too close to the truth, Ralph? Sod off. If you help, it could make all the difference between a long stretch and a bloody long stretch. Armed robbery is a serious crime. Oh, not armed robbery. I never had a gun. Ah, but you went out on a job knowing that a gun was going to be used. Same difference. I didn't know. He just pulled it out at the last minute. I find that hard to believe. You said not to worry. It's poor we're thinking of. We blame ourselves, Mr Kinsey. You said don't worry. Yes, I know. And now? I said you could succeed. That hasn't changed. But your position has. I'll get you somebody else. We tried. Before we came to you. They can do anything for us. I'll get you somebody better. But what about the costs? If you win, there won't be any costs. And if we lose? How oh, that's stuck in a wheelchair, Mr Kinsey. Knowing he won't get any better. 
We've got no legal aid and now no lawyer. I don't know what trouble you're in. But we made a deal. I've lost track of how many times you've let me down. We were supposed to get together yesterday. It didn't show up. Yes, so right. Look, I even called around to the house of his in the end. No sign. Yes, OK. You said he was reliable for And me. he is. And this is what you call reliable, is it? George, listen. Look, I only gave him the flaming contract and you'll say so. I know you did. And I'm sure it's all some mistake, which I will sort out. Troubles? OK. Trouble. At the Tate's. What's going on? Remember me, Mr. Tate? Mr. English. That's right. George English. I'm the chap who's got 16 tonnes of fruit rotting in a warehouse in Skipdale. Uh, yeah. And you know why it's rotting, Mr. Tate? Please. Because your wagon didn't show up to pick it up yesterday. Look, I've had a couple of problems. I've got 16 tonnes of them, Mr. Tate. Where were you? I had a very important meeting. You what? Look, I'm sorry, and it won't happen again. Right. This is down to your old man. Dad? He got me into this mess. He can get me out of it. What's all this got to do with my father? <laughs> Mr. T, what can I do for you? What was Van Pony doing with all that fruit and stuff just now? Saw him, did you? Well, he claims it's for his animals. That's per contract. He's got one little mongrel with mild diabetes. Couldn't possibly use that amount of food. What can I do? If he says he needs it, who am I to argue? Does Mr. Riley know about this? He's had one go at me already today about Van Pony. Twice in one day, I can do without. Listen, Len, bring me an apple and a banana. I've got something I want to try on Senior Van Pony. Just keep the whinging blight off my back. That's all I ask. He told you to sell them, did he? Uh, I said it wasn't easy. I mean, these are just harmless beggars. Even the cobblers have had the fangs drawn. But anyway, it's a venomous kind people want for the collections. Ah, uh, well. See what you can do, eh? Oh. Hello, yes. Yes? Aye, that, that's just Mr. Riley speaking. What? What? Oh, Susie? Bloody hell. Where? No, 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 it's, it's not your fault, no. No, no, thanks for letting us know. That news, Mr. Riley? I told him, didn't I? I told that bloody idiot. Who is it? Susie's dead. She just pained away in that new zoo down south, so she did. I don't know. We'll be well shot of this place. Aye, right. Oh, Mr. Riley, what's this about Mr. Challenge dropping the feed for the big cats? Now, what the hell are you talking about? It's true. Only Donner and Bonds are down for feeding from next week. Will you stop talking bloody rubbish, lad? A his and her set of matching gold-plated Rolls Royces. A villa in Acapulco. Your very own private jet and landing field. And now, your first wish. I think I'll just have a pint of Mansfield bitter. OK. And your second wish? I'll have another pint of Mansfield. OK. And your third wish, presumably, another pint of... No, no. I'll go for a tropical island in the Bahamas and a million pound in a Swiss bank account. I haven't got that. Not much matches, Mansfield. Not much matches, man. Not much matches. 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 Not much matches.